Dr. Jeff King joins us for the King Clinic, and see, you're just one of the people in here now. We just you know, part of the team. Part All of the right. team. <laughs> so today, carpal tunnel syndrome. This is is this a, a condition that came about because of computers? <laughs> wow! Right off the bat, really good. <laughs> well, uh, actually, carpal tunnel went through the roof when when computers were installed in the workplace. Uh, what is carpal tunnel? That's the question we have to answer here. There's a lot of confusion about it and uh, the research has gone to a totally different direction than the way it's treated now. Oh. So carpal tunnel, that's the tunnel of the wrist. Carpus means wrist, all right? Okay. Now we have bones and we have a big tendon and there's a huge nerve that goes through there into our hands, right? Mm -hmm. Now, whenever there's pain, numbness, and weakness, that's called carpal tunnel syndrome, all right? Now, to get to where you're at, computers, why does this happen? Well, it seems that when our hands are turned down in the in the typing position, yeah, right, we we fire a muscle in our forearm actually and gets real short, and that's called a low energy state of contraction. Now a lot of people have this contracted muscle for hours on end. What do you mean it gets short? Oh, it's like a piano. Well, when a mus when a muscle contracts. It's like a lever. It makes something happen. Oh, okay. You see? Now, as this muscle contracts, it turns our hands over. So our hands fit on the oh, board. Ah, okay. You see? Oh, yeah. yeah. I feel it. I yeah. feel it. You see, feel it? Yeah. Now, if you stay in that position yeah. for several hours, it's going to get sore. Now, this nerve emerges out of the neck, goes through the shoulder, has to get through that muscle into the carpal tunnel, into the hand. Wow. So, it's really a misnomer if you think about it. If you call this problem carpal tunnel syndrome, and the etiology is work type problems, which makes up about 47% of all carpal tunnel-like symptoms. Mm. It's not a carpal tunnel problem, it's an elbow problem. Uh -huh. Does that make sense? Oh, yeah, yeah. So you just segued into the, <laughs> the, the big enchilada here. But now why, you know, they say put that, whatever, the thing in front of the computer, so you're not lying, so you're not doing that arched yeah. thing. Yeah. Does that make a difference? That's going to... Not really. <laughs> it's a way to make Marketing, money. Right? Yeah. yeah. Oh, sure. It's an ergonomic thing. The problem is, is that our hands are, are turned over for a long period, right? Mm -hmm. In fact, uh, there was a guy named, what's his name, Hunter, in 91, he was published in the Journal of Hand Clinics, where he wanted to prove to the world that this nerve does not get trapped in the wrist, like everybody thinks. Up here. It's anywhere but there, it seems. Mm. He took 700 staged surgeries, and he stuck four rods of steel in there. He wanted to produce carpal tunnel. Guess how many of those 700 produce carpal tunnel symptoms? Pain, numbness in the fingers. Zippo, zilch, none. Really? Yeah. But I know people who've had surgeries for carpal tunnel and it was in the wrists. They had it a always surgery. Is. Always is. Surgically, they always assume it's right there. But the failure rate for that is around 50, 60, 70 percent. My God. It goes pretty high. Wow. So what are your yeah. suggestions when people feel that pain and that's happening? What, what do you propose? Brilliant. Okay. Well, Look at this. Uh, another group, Leahy and Mock, Journal of Chiropractic Sports Medicine, took 90 cases of carpal tunnel symptoms, syndromes, wrist and, and uh, finger pain, and, and they decided to treat it between 3 to 10 visits, and all of them were healed within 3 to 10 treatments. Now, that nerve can be grabbed by anything along its course, all right? Scar tissue, whatever, tight muscles messed up neck, hurt mm -hmm. shoulder, anywhere along its course. Mm -hmm. Now, now in the literature, they don't even call it carpal tunnel anymore. They call it whole nerve entrapment syndrome. Wow. wow. Because <laughs> that thing can get grabbed anywhere. See, it's much more difficult than just, okay, it must be just here. Mm -hmm. Symptoms are here, it must be right here. Wow. So, what can be done? Tissues can be spread. Scar tissue can be broken up manually. It doesn't hurt. Mm -hmm. And muscles can be lengthened and it can be successfully treated about 95% of the time. Three to 10 visits to a, a, a proper chiropractor, it's over. So you don't have to lay in a hospital bed, nope. you don't have to have That's things five grand. Yeah. So you would just start the work, well, wherever. I don't Start the work in the hands yeah. and, and move proximally, wherever I found uh, hard or stuck tissue. Now, I had carpal tunnel during both of my pregnancies. That's different. To the point where I was, I was numb all the way up my arms, yeah. and I wore splints, you know, yeah. at night and during the day. Sure. That's but can you to, still treat that or... or uh... Well, that's a different etiology. Oh, that's, it is. That's not work-related? No, that's a swelling-type situation, usually. Where the nerve is being 
compromised and yep. okay. Yeah, that's different. Hands and feet swell. But can you still ladies. treat that in, in, in pregnant Not women? Not in pregnant women, no. Mm. Nope. Only in uh everybody else basically <laughs> okay <laughs> you take the one group that but you do treat pregnant women for other all the time almost back all the time pain and that sort yep. of thing low back so have you seen have you treated many patients that way and you've seen success every time and relief every time and no return no return 100% no. of the time I, and i'll say that just in, in my personal clinical experience mm -hmm. <clears throat> excuse me the problem is never in the tunnel itself it's always in the hand in the elbow or the shoulder mm. Oh, now, that's, I, that's I don't want to take message. business away from you, but what can you recommend to people who are at a keyboard all day long? Exercises or something? Well, you have to stretch. stretch. Remember, this is a low energy state of contraction. Remember that muscle I was telling you about in your mm -hmm. elbow? Mm -hmm. Well, you have to stretch it. So if that muscle gets short when I do this, to lengthen it, we have to do this. The opposite, right? Go back right. to normal. Right. So some, some kind of stretching business like this, you see? Oh, that, yeah, that even you hurts. Did that feel good right instantly? Sure. Sure. Yeah. If you did that constantly, that would help prevent wow. the situation from arising. For those who are, who are just listening on radio, they don't know what we're doing. Oh, yeah, <laughs> they're saying this yeah. and this. Well, show, uh, your, show your hands open. Turn your hands me, over, open, like you're showing instead the, of, you know, the opposite of clean hands, like you're showing your mom, you have clean hands. That's right. That, and then just pull and down, pull on, those down on, pull your down fingers, on your fingers. And you feel that, you feel that I muscle feel good. right there. Yeah, it does. Yeah. Sometimes that... And then does it help to massage in, in between sure. fingers or anything? Yeah. And how often should you do that if you're working at a keyboard all day? Oh boy, probably once every 20, 40 minutes. Really? Yeah. How many times would you have to do that, do the stretching part? Or how, for a period of time? As much as you want. For, for a stretch to be effective muscular-wise, this is another good point. You have to hold the stretch for 30 seconds or it's worthless. Oh. Really? Even when you're lifting weights I've or anything? Never heard that. 30-second stretch? All stretching should we be We never heard seconds. it because we never stretch, Karen. That's <laughs> probably why. <laughs> no, it is. Stretching is so important. I had really poor posture as a kid. And they said, stand on, you know, against the wall. My chiropractor taught me and just stand there and stretch that body out. And it made a world of difference, even corrected some of my posture. Let me just ask you this, and kind of going out on a limb here, not to put you on the spot, okay. but you're ready for a challenge. Do you get feedback from medical doctors or, or surgeons that are saying, why are you delivering that message, or doesn't that happen to you too often? It in a healthy way. Oh, well, no, because, well, like this Hunter mm -hmm. uh, study I mentioned, that's their stuff. Right. He was a surgeon. That's a good point. You know? Right, right. So I always uh, look to the literature instead of what I think. Right. You know? It's not you just making something up like, yeah, I'll try yeah. this. And yeah. And as I've mentioned before, a footnote is a fool place to stand. I mean, that's pretty <laughs> solid. And when you're appealing to a scientist, which any doctor is, I mean, that's it. Mm -hmm. I got some literature, the story's over. And you've mentioned that repeatedly, actually, when you've been in the studio here, the importance of those kind of findings. Sure. Well, we thank you. The sure. time has already gone by, but tell us how we can get a hold of you. And uh... Okay. Well, the easiest way is to email me at kingclinic at AOL.com. I'm willing to answer any question short of giving you a diagnosis. <laughs> Can't do that unless I look at you. <laughs> or you can uh, give us a call at 641-0644. And to make an appointment to get, have a consultation with sure. you? Sure. Yeah. Same phone That's number. the okay. same phone number. Right. You show up at uh, 707 North 24th at the Pella Windows building. Great. Everybody knows that. Very good. Thank Excellent. you. Very interesting. Thanks. Thanks. As always. Thanks. Thanks. Dr. Jeff King with the Thank King you. Clinic.